three, two, one. Hey guys, my name is Amanda Carolla and this is my YouTube. Today I'm going to show you guys how to refurbish some couch cushions. These are it. We're going to go with a more bohemian style. So we are doing these covers in cream. Grab your fabric and your tape measure. Boom, get cushion. Now we're going to measure and make sure that we're set for our project. The front part of my cushion was about 24 inches long and had a height of 12 inches. To these measurements, I am adding one inch for cutting purposes. I went ahead and I grabbed pattern paper. If you don't have pattern paper, you can use any type of sturdy paper. The pattern will help me get a straight line once I'm cutting the fabric. Okay, now take the pattern that you just made and pin it to the fabric. Using the pattern, you can cut the fabric or you can rip the fabric. Some fabrics rip like this because of how it's threaded. This method works for me. If you don't feel comfortable ripping the fabric, just use the scissors. This is what it should look like. Now we have to make sure it's perfect and perfect. With the piece that you just cut, you can definitely use it as a pattern to cut the second piece that you need, obviously front and back. I am going to use the ripping method because I'm very comfortable with this, but if this is your first time, I recommend that you pin the pattern that you made on the fabric. Now I'm going to measure the border of the cushion. Okay, it's five inches wide and 47 inches long. I added an extra inch to this and boom, done. Now we get to sewing. These are my machines. I am using the Singer Pro Finish, which is my serger, and then I have my straight stitch machine. Yay, my favorite part, sitting at the sewing machine. Okay, now that we have both pieces of the fabric, the front and the back, we can start our project. Oh yeah, and the border. Let me not forget about that. I attached the edge of the border to the shortest part of the cushion cover. You really want to make sure that the corner of the border piece and the corner of the front panel are touching. As you can see, mine wasn't touching, but yours should touch and this is what it should look like. As you can see, I started with the shorter part of the cover and now I'm going to attach the longer part. I am using my serger for this project, but if you do not own a serger, you can easily do a zigzag stitch and reinforce it with a single stitch. I went ahead and finished attaching all three sides and it should look something like this. Don't forget to check your work. You can do this as many times as you want throughout your project. I grabbed the pillow and put the cover I just made to see how it looks. For the back part of your pillow cover, you will attach it the same way you attached the front part. This is how it should look after you attach the shorter side to the border. Now I'm going to finish off the other two sides and get that poppin'. By the way, I will be using the single stitch machine and reinforcing my serging stitch at the end. Zam! This is looking really good. I'm impressed. Now for the zipper. Don't be scared if you've never attached a zipper because this was my first time and it wasn't that hard. Because the original pillow cover had a zipper, I just detached it and used it for my project. But if you didn't have a zipper, you can use whatever zipper you find from a piece of clothing or you can purchase one online. You really want to be careful and make sure that the zipper does not come undone. I measured a piece of fabric to 5 inches and I cut it in half and I'll be using this to attach the zipper to the cover. Okay, a few things happened but I still wanted to show you what I'm talking about. Because I cut the fabric too thin, I had to add pieces of fabric to make it a little bit wider and I went ahead and I sewed that onto the zipper. Because I didn't love the look of it, I redid it in the morning and it looked like this. I made sure each piece was even and then I connected the right side to the right side of the cushion and when I flip it over, you could see it'll be the right way. Okay, really try to not screw this up because you're almost done. So connect the right side of the fabric with the right side of the zipper and sew that together. You don't have to be afraid because the needle will go through the zipper. Once you're done attaching the short parts together, this is what it should look like. 
if you like how your work looks and you're confident you can proceed to the next step which is attaching the long part of the pillowcase you honestly just have to go around the whole pillowcase you can use your single stitch machine if that's the only machine you have I'm using the single stitch now but I'm going to go over it with my serger this is what the results should look like after you attach those two sides and those are the hairs that will be gone once I go over it with my serger. Go ahead and attach the top part of the zipper now and remember to not, do not let that zipper come undone because mama can help you but not in this video. Okay, this is three sides attached. Now for the final side, go ahead and close that up. I'm happy that I was able to record this video step by step because when I took upon this project, I looked up videos on how to make this pillow cover and there was none. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, I cut two pieces of fabric and I made a baby burrito like so and I sewed that together and this is going to be my zipper stopper. I honestly just copied the original pillow cover. I saw that the zipper at the end had these little baby stoppers and I'm going to do the same. Okay, so I just went and placed it at the end of the zipper and I went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, for the big reveal, zzz, the zipper is locked in its place and I'm just going to do this on the other side now. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Because these cushion covers are for a client, I definitely wanted a more professional seam. So I went over my single stitch seam with my serger and here's a more close up version. You can see how professional the seams are, but don't trip. Like I said, do the zigzag method, you should be good. But yeah, look, this is what it looks like. Okay, let's try it on the pillow. I stuffed that pillow in this cushion cover and the corners were a little bit big so I just took stuffing from another pillow and I made it nice and even but how dope this came out perfect I love it it's a freaking wrap this is it <laughs> let me know what you guys want to see in the next couple of videos I already have a bunch of ideas so don't be worried. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comment section. I'll get back to you there. See you later.